Welcome to KQEG and Seven River Sports. I'm your host, Terry Erickson. Each week, an inside look into sports, wellness, fitness, introduce you to some key celebrities throughout the greater lacrosse area, and you'll be inspired today when you meet our guests. From Logan High School, Eli Szymanski, Andrew Sims, Connor Canerza. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Well, on the heels of a big win over La Crescent. La Crescent always a good opponent, strong program with Rick Boyer, a friend of mine. Your third win of the year. Lots of new new coaches, new positions, new culture, new everything. Eli, what's your take on the season so far? Uh, I think that we've, we've dropped a few games that we could have probably won, but I think that's part of the, the learning curve with the new coaches and uh, having a gap between us seniors and the sophomores and kind of a mix of that so I think that we're starting to put things together and although we haven't had that many wins uh, I think we're looking forward to a, a good stretch here. You know my heart goes out to Eli because just a, a real quick uh, story on uh, some of the struggles you've had physically this year can you share that? Yeah I had my wisdom teeth out and usually that's not a big deal but then I got an infection and I had to go in through my throat and place a tube and that was like a two two and a half week process so that was in the middle of the season, so it was, it was pretty hard. So as a senior, that's a big blow, not only because of his gift as an athlete uh, for the Logan Ranger baseball team, but because of his leadership, because of what he stands for, and you're going to learn more about him uh, in just a few minutes. And uh, with Andrew, too, you've, your season's been kind of up and down, disappointing to you, high, high points, low points? Uh, low points, just losing the games that we should have won. I mean, we have lost a couple games with too many errors that we can clean up still and then the new coaching is a lot different from last year having all the younger guys is kind of a positive I think just because it can mix our mix with our seniors and sophomores are a good mix for our field good lineup I'll tell you a quick story about Connor Knurzer next to me last night he struck out on a pitch that he didn't really like and he he uh, it wasn't what he wanted obviously but here's a lesson for young people or adults teaching young people how to play the game. He strikes out, instead of being upset with himself, of being upset with the umpire, being upset, he hustles off, sprints off, goes to the dugout, and uh, it sent a powerful message to me and everybody that watched the game last night. And that's what you're all about, Connor. I mean, you try to be. Baseball is a humbling sport, so um, there's an old saying where the best baseball players get out seven out of ten times. Uh, it just kind of shows how humbling it can be. I mean, one at bat you can have an, an RBI single or a shot in the gap, and the next at bat you can strike out. You just can't let the, the strikeouts uh, take away from you because it's part of the game. It's going to happen. The mental is to the physical is four is to one. Four times more important from the neck up to be in the game mentally. That's a big part of your success story. What What gives you that? strength my father God um, I think he's he's a big part of me um, before games I'm always saying a quick little prayer um, whenever I'm on the mound I draw a cross in the mound with my foot and then I I point my hat up to the sky um, it's something I always do uh, it's something that I feel like he can give uh, me the strength that I have and I, he kind of keeps me keeps me humble and keeps me up when I'm down too so some people do that uh, you see it in football games they catch a touchdown pass or whatever you see it in baseball they hit a home run and you see people look up point up and so on and it doesn't always mean anything some people just do it for the show that's not you Connor <laughs> not at all um, people can think that but um, there's a point where you can you have a platform um, and obviously I'm not a professional athlete platform but once you once those athletes get to the professional platform I think Albert Pujols um, he really sticks out to me is he's one of the guys too he'll hit a home run and point it to the sky and for him he's really vocal about his faith so it's a way of showing hey I'm not pointing to the sky to um, brag about myself or look cool or anything it's a way that I can show younger people hey I just hit that through through my father Good for you, Connor. And Andrew, you're a, a, a player with substance, so I've always admired how you play. You transferred from Alaska. It's been a gift to the Logan Rangers. Uh, I've watched you play soccer, uh, academic all-conference, all-conference in soccer, junior and se senior season. I mean, you've, uh, you've made that transition, and you have made a difference uh, at Logan. You've enjoyed it, too, haven't you? Talk yep. about the high points of uh, your baseball career so far and soccer. 
Um, probably my high point in my career in soccer was this year. Coming in as senior year with Eli, we pretty much stayed in the MVC throughout the season, almost got a title. I uh, didn't push so far in playoffs like we wanted to, but that was all right. Uh, baseball, though, was, it's been pretty good. I mean, my sophomore year, we lost in the semifinal go to state. And then last year, coming in, what did we win? Six games, guys? Not that many. Yeah. Not that many games last year was kind of hard. Uh, knowing came came into this year knowing I wanted to get more wins, potentially get a new title. Mm -hmm. Well, along with uh, Andrew, uh, Eli, been on the show twice now. Be signing autographs around school after <laughs> you're on the show. All of you will be, but Eli, a friend and also a uh, certainly a outstanding prep athlete, but multiple sport athlete too. All you ready for this? All state in soccer. Now, a lot of the media didn't really give him the credit that he deserves, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I think the very first, am I right with that? The very first person in this area that ever was All-State? Uh, recently. Certainly at Logan. Yeah. Certainly recently, I haven't heard. But All-State. Wow, I am so proud of you. Uh, and, what you and I watched you play you know, along with uh, Andrew. Uh, and you had a tremendous career and uh, your, your baseball season, you made a switch in positions now, but your baseball, your first three years has been outstanding too. Yeah, yeah, I think that a lot of that's a tribute to the patience I've had with uh, with kind of growing up and learning the system and, and following in the footsteps of the leaders that I've had through uh, baseball and soccer. So I think that this year was definitely my year along with Sims and Connor and we're the seniors now and I think that it's time to to start showing the younger kids how things are done. Your father recently shared with me that uh, you were a slow developer, that you were uh, kind of s small when you were younger. And yeah. you've, de you've really blossomed in the last few years, and, and uh, uh, this, the, the future is going to be extremely bright. But you, you, you've always had the confidence, but your, your development didn't come as quickly as you wanted. Yeah, well, I was 5'2 and under 100 pounds my freshman year, and then grew up a little bit in the next couple of years after that. And I think that, that, like you said, the confidence was always there, but the development wasn't quite. And now that the development's coming along, it's, it's a nice addition. Eli, you seem to be a, um, a quiet leader. I mean, you, uh, you lead uh, by example, and that's kind of an overused statement, but you, uh, you seem to be a deep person, too. Uh, and you, you seem to be uh, full of uh, substance, leadership, and uh, caring about uh, how you uh, look in terms of uh, what your role is as a student athlete. Yeah, I think as a student athlete, or athlete you're kind of put in the spotlight around school and, and in the community. So things like how you act around school, how you act with adults, how you act in interviews are, are important for representing your, your school. And so I think that representing my school and and my team is, is very important to me, like that leading by example thing. Well, you're on a platform, and uh, Andrew, you're on a platform, and we don't always remember that sometimes. I remember as a student athlete, sometimes I may have forgotten that, but you have a lot of young players on the team this year, Andrew, including two of our grandsons, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I want them to be a Connor and an Andrew and an Eli someday, and uh, I've told Eli that already, and I want, uh, uh, I want them to grow up to, to be student athletes like you how do you demonstrate that not only to your teammates but to those young people that uh, come to the games parents the broad public I uh, just staying positive when the times are low in games in school getting my work done going to class you know just trying to show them how to be a student athlete get good grades get do good at practice do good in games and just try to lift them when they're low has there been a time when there's been uh, some of you noticed on a team, a young underclassman that needed to be lifted up, that you've had to step up yeah. and encourage somebody? Yeah, Julian a couple times is striking out on pitches he doesn't like, and he kind of lets it get to him a little harder than it is. And we just try to lift him up from it, tell him next at bat, just get a better one. You talking about my Julian? Yep. <laughs> well, Julian is like <laughs> you. You are like I was as an athlete, like his dad was, hard on himself. I've met the enemy. The enemy is me. Meaning that you want always to play extremely well, and if you don't play well, uh, you at least temporarily get down mm -hmm. and, and take it out on yourself. And you're the yeah. kind of uh, 
as we close the first half of the show, you're the kind of player that recognizes that and lifts people up, too, aren't you, Con? Yeah, um, there's a couple times, too. I know the Central game stuck out to me. Uh, this year, we lost 4-1, to one, I think. Um, our bats couldn't get going, and um, a lot of times, too, we'd have guys striking out on pitches that they didn't necessarily think of, and there was an example where a player on a team was, um, was, was pretty vocal that he didn't like the strike zone, and I said, hey, it's, it's going to happen. There's nothing we can do about it, and I kind of felt bad because <laughs> I lashed out on him a little bit, but sometimes people need to step up and take the initiative and tell him, hey, you're not going to be perfect every at-bat. Uh, things are going to happen that you don't like. You just need to have a short-term memory. You need to remember what you took away from the at-bat, and then you need to just forget it and go up to the next at-bat with a clear head. And um, sometimes people people struggle with that. They want to be perfect every time, and, and you can't. Yeah, well, remember my, my favorite uh, current song is perfect. So, <laughs> which we talked about before we went out of the air. But anyway, we're gonna take we're gonna step aside for a quick break when we come back more here on Seven River Sports. At Schneider Heating and Air Conditioning, we have assembled the championship team. Who listens to what your needs are. We install carrier comfort systems that improve the comfort, efficiency, and the air quality of your home and workplace. We serve you with highly trained technicians who are prompt, friendly, and honest. For gold star treatment, turn to the experts, Carrier and Schneider Heating and Air Conditioning. Schneider Heating and Air Conditioning, your comfort is our business. Welcome back to Seven River Sports again. Special guest from Logan High School, Eli Samansky, Andrew Sims, Connor Knurzer. One of my heroes, I grew up watching the UCLA and John Wooden, and here's what John Wooden said. Uh, be more concerned with your character than your reputation because your character is really what you are and who you are and your reputation is what people think of you. Sometimes you, you, we all want character and reputation but you can't always have character is more important than reputation. Would you agree with that Eli? Yeah I would. I think that, that as a leader sometimes you struggle with that because you have to get on some people in some ways that might not seem favorable or might even be a friend or, or a teammate that you're close with, that sometimes you have to get on them. And I think that comes with the character of, I'm the leader now, I need to get on this person, even though it might hinder my reputation. Uh, well said, and I'm sure Andrew uh, feels the same way, or I think I would think he would. Yeah, so I would have to agree in, with Any, you any um, uh, situations that you can recall that kind of had to separate character versus reputation? Not that I can think of. Kind right of anything that's do you uh, run across? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's it's situational, but sometimes as um, as kind of standout athletes in the school and uh, popular kids, sometimes and kids that uh, underclassmen may look up to, you almost get a reputation of oh they're athletes, so to say, and they might be more popular in the class, so they they tend to put stereotypes with those people, saying, oh, if they're athletes and popular, they must possess other qualities that traditionally those athletes may possess, and I think that's something that is not true at all. I think that that's where your, your character comes into play, whereas people may think that you have a certain reputation, but your character... Uh, is what matters most. It's not what people think about you, it's how you carry yourself. Well said. Uh, well, Eli, we talked about multi-sport athlete, GPA award, uh, high honor roll. Whoa, I mean, is that, is that correct, Eli? Yeah. All these things about you and you're headed to college and you're headed to a career, you're headed to find a cure for cancer or do something like that. <laughs> talk, talk about uh, your focus on uh, academics and where you're, what the next chapter of your life is all about. Yeah, I think uh, sports are, are fun and everything, but the academics are, are the most important. And while I'm in school, that's my focus. So throughout high school, I've, I've learned good study habits and I've developed good study habits that have helped me get those awards and hopefully carry those on to the next step in college, which will be more serious, obviously. And next year at St. Mary's, I'm, I'm hoping to really focus on my studies and, and get ready for graduate school. Graduate school in medicine and then on to becoming a physician? Yeah, that seems to be my career path right now. Well, but good for you. And, and so you have some hard classes at Logan then? Yeah, like AP Bio and, and those kind of classes are, are really challenging, but that's what I enjoy. I, I like the challenge of 
of that, and I think they're going to prepare me well for next year. Favorite teacher? Oh, man. I, I think that I've had some really good teachers, but this year I'd have to go with uh, Mr. Cameron just because I've, I've put so much work into his class, and, and he knows me personally from soccer coaching and stuff, so I've just spent a lot of time with him. I have to go with Good him. friend, and yeah. uh, know his family real well, good mm -hmm. teacher. Favorite sub? <laughs> just kidding, of course. But uh, uh, Andrew, too, uh, I'm proud of your academic achievements. You're headed to college, and last time we, you were on the show, uh, you were going somewhere in the area, and now it looks like you're going yeah. further to the east. Yeah. Yeah, I just, just with financial stuff, had to change I, the path I wanted to take to St. Mary's and changing over to Lakeland. But pretty excited about that, following with my academics there, trying to major up in business over there. And, and you'll do well in the next chapter of your life. Uh, by the way, uh, Lakeland is far east in the state of Wisconsin as you can get. You know that, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that's, that's a nice area, too. Um, Andrew, you have a good family support, too. And mm -hmm. I know I see your parents in, at the games, and I know uh, uh, you uh, appreciate that support. Mm -hmm. You want to share that? Yeah, my my dad's been going to all my games since I was younger. Even when he coached varsity sports, I'd be at every single one of his games. Just loving the game, is getting as much exposure as I can to it, and it's helped me all this way. And he's one of your role models. Yep. Um, favorite opponent? Of course, you came from Alaska. Would that be your favorite opponent? Yeah. Does that does that build the adrenaline up when you're playing? Yeah, the it's, old it's, there's there's a little more pressure on me. I feel like, but. You I like know. pressure, though. Yeah. So when I look at the schedule, as we tape the show, of course, here May 8th, uh, you, uh, this week, it looks to me like the Hilltoppers are on your schedule on Thursday, <laughs> providing we have nice weather and you'll be on the hill. Yep. Oh, that'll be exciting. And uh, and we'll be, we might even be there working that game, but I'll be there watching. And and uh, we talked about you, Connor, your, um, uh, your, certainly your academic achievements as I look at your resume, all kinds of scholarships, and um, you're in, in deeply involved in FBLA, and so you, you're not a stereotypical athlete like like the two next to you, you believe in, in getting involved in a lot of different things. Yeah, um, my business teacher, Mr. Robert Wall, he's been huge uh, in my development as a student and an athlete. Uh, since I first got to Logan. He's someone who I've had teaching every four years, um, taking some of the business classes with him, and he got me involved with FBLA, the Future Business Leaders of America, this year for my first year. And um, I decided I was gonna go into broadcast journalism and do a project on that, and my project actually moved on to nationals. Whoa. So I'm gonna be going to Baltimore at the end of June and beginning of July to be competing at the National FBLA Conference. Have you been so to Baltimore? I have not. It's oh, my I've first been there conference. a few times. Beautiful area. So, college? Winona State. And playing baseball, perhaps? I, <laughs> I don't think so. I might play club baseball, um, but not actual. Uh, not actually through the school. So, so. 10 years from now, what's Connor or Connors are going to be doing? Uh, hopefully uh, something in the business field. I, I'm, right now my plan is to major in human resource management with a minor in professional selling. So um, I want to do something along the HR lines, but uh, if I happen to win nationals or, or place really well there, maybe a future in broadcast journalism is up my alley. Broadcast journalism, I, I think he's probably ready for it. Maybe he'll be the host of this show at some point. <laughs> you take over <laughs> for you. Rapid fire drill, role models. Um, my grandpa, Alan Pierce, he was a Vietnam vet, um, and I have a ton of respect for uh, war veterans. And then he came back after an injury, a Purple Heart recipient, and uh, he made a great living for himself, and he's a big inspiration for me. Uh, favorite saying? Uh, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Really? So. You're pretty deep spiritually that you're involved in your church? I am, yes. I go to Olivet on um, French Island, and um, I go to mission, mission trips in the summer, and um, I'm, I try to get Try to get in the pews every Sunday. So. And, and your, uh, uh, your, your, uh, your mission trip was where? Uh, the Quad Cities, Iowa. 
so it wasn't uh, it wasn't super far away but um, I was assigned to work in an adult group home and at the time I was kind of upset I was like I want to do be doing something hands-on and helping out in like a food pantry or rebuilding up some area but uh, the people in the adult group home touched me a lot um, I actually helped run worship services and uh, we I helped grow um, the members of this day center's faith so it was super cool by the end of the week it was it was kind of emotional leaving and it was a it was a great chance for me to, to step out of my comfort zone a little bit and grow so what would something that what would people watching this show throughout the world be surprised to know about you I'm a big musician um, a lot of people don't don't expect that but I played piano for 10 years uh, just picking up guitar and I'm, I'm starting to write write some songs too so um, we'll see I mean it's super it's super low-key not many people know that at all but well, they do I, now. I'll, I'll, take that. I'll sit down and play guitar and some people's eyes will bug out and be like hey I didn't know you played so it's 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 a little hidden hidden talent I got going on so. well and, and you have lots of talent too and one of them is working uh, part-time and yeah. by the way you didn't go out for basketball it's another story but we, that was disappointing, but you decided to work. But you have lots of talents too, and uh, you have a lot of respect from a lot of people. What's your what What is your strength besides your athleticism? Um, I, I'm outgoing. I like interacting with people, meeting new people. It's always a good thing to do. And you have that kind of personality mm -hmm. too. And um, Eli, what's leadership mean to you? Leadership to me is leading by example and picking up others. So I think that the leading, we talked about the leading by example, but there's also times where you need to recognize this person needs a, a lift up or this person this person needs a, to be chewed out, I guess, too, is also part of it. So I think that it's, it's, it's teaching people how to be a leader while also uh, leading by example. For Eli Samansky, favorite saying? You reap what you sow. So you, whatever you put in, you'll get out. So I think that just attributes to to hard work and, and at everything I do. Your, your coach, Andy Ellenberger, as we close the show, had nothing but positive things to say about Andrew. You're skilled as an athlete. Eli, you're uh, growing into one of the big leaders uh, on the team. Connor, uh, most reliable pitcher, confident but yet humble. Uh, it brings positive energy day in and day out. I mean, your coach, who uh, is his first year as head coach for the Logan Rangers, was uh, extremely uh, 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 proud that you were going to be on the show and said just remarkably good things about you. Yeah, he's a good, he's a good guy. Are you surprised at that? No, no, he, no. He's always positive with us and he he lets us know those things. So good. He keeps good. us up. Good. Well, it's been a treat actually to have you on the show. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, Eli Samansky and uh, Andrew Sims, second time on the show. And uh, so appreciate you coming back. And you are just meeting Connor Knurzer for the very first time. <laughs> My rookie debut. Oh. Uh, and uh, I think you will agree uh, that he impressed everybody. And so did Eli, and so did Andrew. So. Appreciate being on the show, guys. Thanks, Thanks for having, having us. having us. All right. Hey, good luck the rest of the season. I'll be there watching for a couple different reasons. Yeah. You know. <laughs> All right. We'll be back with some closing thoughts right after this. At Schneider Heating and Air Conditioning, we have assembled a championship team who listens to what your needs are. We install carrier comfort systems that improve the comfort, efficiency, and the air quality of your home and workplace. We serve you with highly trained technicians who are prompt, friendly, and honest. For Gold Star treatment, turn to the experts, Carrier and Schneider Heating and Air Conditioning. Schneider Heating and Air Conditioning, your comfort is our business. Welcome back to Seven River Sports. Hope you enjoyed our interview as we profile three outstanding senior student athletes from Logan High School, Eli Szymanski. Uh, Andrew Sims and Connor Knurzer. Well, the beautiful weather in Cooley Region, an inspiration for all of us to get outside and enjoy some of the events, whether it's walking, kayaking, running, plenty of things to do here in the Cooley Region. I encourage you to join us each and every Sunday night as we bring you Knights of Thunder Racing here on KQEG. Next week, we will profile the Aquinas High School softball program with two of the best, Nicole Trissoni, Peyton English. Well, hope you enjoyed this week's show. I'm your host, Terry Erickson, hoping you will have an exciting, a healthy, and an active week. Bye.